I was on a meet and greet the other day. I don't call it a date because I'm online dating and I call the first thing like a meet and greet. Kind of, I, I feel like it takes the pressure off. I don't really know you. You don't know me. We don't know if we actually want to go on a real date. So the guy arrives and I'm in Montreal. It's really common to do a air kiss, you know, cheek cheek sort of thing. And as we're doing that, he grabs onto my arm and gives it a little squeeze in a way that's like, familiar. It's not like a polite gesture in my mind anyway. As we're sitting down on the bar stools, which have a back to them, so they're kind of cushy. They're not those standalone sort of things. Um, he puts his hand on my back and works it down to the small of my back, to which I'm shifting my body and creating physical distance between us. We order a glass of wine and yeah, I'm taking note of all this. I'm not offended. I'm just like, okay, he's a little handsy. I've come across that before. Some people are more affectionate. I'm not reading anything into it. And like just face value, creating distance, shifting my body language. I also know not everybody reads body language cues. Some people don't have the ability to, and some people don't choose to. Glass of wine comes, we're maybe 10 minutes into, you know, just starting a conversation when he puts his hand or goes to put his hand on my leg, to which I become a Tai Chi master, like, ooh, you know, one of these, and I just sort of move his hand and I go, hey, dude, slow your roll. I make a joke out of it and I just kind of go, I really am not comfortable with being so physically affectionate with someone I don't even know. I said, like, dude, like, we don't know each other yet. Just, you know, chill out. And he does one of these. He goes, well, I'm a chiropractor. It's an occupational hazard. <clears throat> I'm just going to hold my hands like this so that I can control myself. <laughs> I'm like, okay. I don't even address that. Keep moving forward in the conversation because the glass of wine has arrived and I'm starting to take a sip, whatever. And then the next thing you know, literally not five minutes have passed. He goes to put his hand on my leg again, but in a fake out motion. And he goes, look, I was just kidding. <laughs> like, it's funny to play with someone's boundaries. So of course, I say to him, I don't think that's funny. I don't think anybody would actually think it's funny when you push somebody's boundaries. Well, I was just joking. And we all know, like, if you have been dealing with anyone who is a narcissist, that that's a really, you know, big pattern of behavior thing they do. You know, minimize, ignore, test your boundaries over and over again. The next thing he says to me is this. He's going like full forces. And I just looked at him and I said, it actually doesn't matter where my boundaries come from. 